movies and linear medium, and I went on to Mist Online thinking, mm -hmm. well, I don't want this to end. I'm, I want to build a bigger world that's more alive. Mm -hmm. And we said we don't really need a sequel. That Riven told the story, but um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, there uh, the opportunity arose, mm -hmm. and uh, no, I see. when the and the uh, and actually the whole design was put in front of us, and we said, "This pretty good. nice. It's not bad at all." And you know, I'll use that money to go toward Mist Online, and mm -hmm. so yeah. We yeah, because it sort of went yeah. like, all right, just sort of thinking how this went. I mean, Mist was pre-rendered always, I guess, and then right. you've got Riven that was also pre-rendered. Right. But then in, you and but Mist was made by different developers, and then you go into Uru, and suddenly it's real time with an avatar. Right. I think that's weird. Right. <laughs> like that's, suddenly, suddenly you have an avatar. Yeah, like, exactly. What? I mean, we can talk more about Uru later. I have like a better, more in-depth moment. But um, was was Mist Five End of Ages? Was that also real time then? There's a long story here that involves <laughs> a lot of nastiness and oh, no. publishers and yeah. evil and. Uh, I'm sure you don't want to hear it. Uh, I want to hear the the nice well, little I mean, developer complaining about a publisher. You probably don't hear that very much. So uh, anyway, it was it was doing what we could at the time. Honestly, we're a small shop, and it's kind of rare these days. But we've managed to to stay alive, yeah. um, up and down, and we've managed to keep almost everybody who's worked for us, you know, still in touch and yeah. and like us. You know, so we we. We care about the employees. We, you know, the population of employees goes up and down. Mist Five was something that kind of kept us alive after a, a very, you know, someday we'll do a post mortem on it, but mm -hmm. a, a, a very traumatic experience with the with Mist Online, oh, right, right, um, right, right, right. and it allowed us to use resources and stay alive, and that yeah. that to us was important. Well, I think the interesting thing about the Mist itself, or the first two games, Mist and Riven, is that they, I mean, I found online this list that said it's on 3DO, Amiga OS, CDI, iOS, Jaguar, CD, Mac OS, Nintendo DS, PlayStation, PSP, Saturn, Sega Saturn, Windows, Windows Mobile. I mean, it's, I find that really fascinating because um, part of the problem with making technological art games um, it, games in general is that the technology decays really quickly yes. and from generation to generation and yet you're, you're sort of by taking it from one platform to the next to the next to the next it sort of keeps the game alive and in a way I think that's really I mean I really think that's important because it sort of keeps the the history alive there's so many games that can't be played now right. and it's kind of cool that Myst still can be in an, even in, in its original form or as real Myst you right. know and, or you know but what what's why do you keep porting it to? to, to <laughs> you know, some of those ports are shoehorned, and some of them are really good. You know, yeah. I mean, it's uh, the iOS port. The iOS one was close to our hearts, and that's why we did that. It, that it's funny you mentioned the cursor. I yeah. mean, the cursor was a hand, and so when when there's this great platform that's touch interface, you know, yeah. and it feels like you're taking a layer of abstraction out when the hand the hand cursor becomes your hand. Yeah. Um, and your finger actually touches and moves, so it felt like a very, a really natural thing. And yeah. once again, that that was a came at a great time for us to kind of employ people, build things up a little bit. Um, and we view the mobile platform has lent itself well. Some of those uh, were definitely shoehorned, and um, if you bought any of them and didn't like them, I had nothing to do with them. Uh, it was some other person, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> Uh, who uh, and even to be honest